as you all know, I sometimes do pay with wheels. And the rules of that are simple. The fees gets the product on my bench. It does not get any product a positive with wheel. I was sponsored this way by Creality for years and give lots of negative reviews. And one of the things I love most about my followers is you always trusted me. Unfortunately, I'm no longer with Creality because the quality control and customer support got so bad I couldn't vouch for them anymore. So I have to walk away. No hard feelings there. We have a good run and I still think the end of free version 2 and the 3D Premiere are solid products. The occasional review fee helps from my DIY projects and I really really treasure the trust that most of you have in me when I do that. There are many Chinese tech influencers catering to the western audience because most don't understand the importance of reputation. That once you lose your audience trust, if you encourage them to make an unwise purchase, that's it. They'll never trust you again after that. So I'm very, very careful about what I will and what I say about it. A while back, Anchor, a pretty well-known brand in mobile electronics, contacted me to reveal a new wearable. I was pretty excited. I don't have a lot of big name sponsors because, well, we all know there's a bit of a double take if people aren't familiar with me and not everyone wants their brand associated with that. And that's the result on my choices and on me. Anchor was very nice, very professional. But one of the things about working with the big names in the business is they have to manage risk. So the contract they send over have the clause, proprietor shall revise the deliverables according to such feedback. Basically, they could have me rewrite my review if they didn't like it. Now, one thing I'd like to emphasize is this is a very normal clause for big name professional reviewers to agree to. But that's why I'm always going to be a pretty small name reviewer. Because let's face it, if I wanted to sell out and make easy money or live an easy life, there are a whole lot better ways I could do it than running a DIY tech channel. I'm not exactly making the most pragmatic life choices to get ahead in the world here. So Anger wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary. They needed to protect their reputation. I needed to protect mine. It just wasn't a good match. I offered to return the product that they sent over and they very kindly let me keep it. So I decided to make the most of all this and reveal it anyway. And I hope you appreciate it because that was a lot of beer money I turned down and who knows how much future business just so I could stay honest with all of you. Okay, without further ado, let's unbox it and see what they've sent me. So this is the glasses. And this is the temple comes with it. This is the glasses holder. And this is the instruction and warranty. Looks like a magnetic charging cable. Let's put it aside. So it comes with this aviator style glasses frame. It's not my style, but I think with some outfits, um, it will do. <laughs> this is the Harbor style stander. Your temple. Let's open it. The 
These are the temples and all the electronics are housed into these. So this one has some patterns on the frame. I think with some outfits, it will look good on me. I like this one. This one is transparent. This frame is transparent and it will look good on most of my outfits. So this, I probably try with this one. And this one is in black, just um, plain black. So this one should be very popular. And the last one. Looks a little bit different from the others. Others are kind of squarish, rectangle shape. But this one is kind of like a round shape. I will try it on and see how it looks on, on me later. Okay, these are the glass frames I received. I will put it together and pair it with my phone. So you just put them on like that and the words uh, is awkward. Okay, let's turn on our Bluetooth and then turn on the sound core frame. Let's pair it now. Okay. Okay. Now it's connected. Right. Uh, I, I've downloaded their app. It's called Soundcore. You can find it on Google Play or your uh, other uh, store. Okay, I have to sign up first. So uh, this is the Soundcore app. This is the, it shows uh, it, they have other earbuds too. Okay, the Soundcore app doesn't seem to have the uh, Soundcore frame yet. I think they will add that later, but right now it doesn't help me much. Right, let's take them out for test wear. So these are the Soundcore frames. Basically, it's a headset in an eyeglass form factor. Now, eyeglass headphones have been done many times before, and the problem is always that they're hideously ugly. This is a really key problem with wearables. Electronics manufacturers don't know what watchmakers have understood for hundreds of years. If it's on your body, both form and function matter a lot. Anchor got this right with the Soundcore frames. You can swap the frames out by removing the temples and placing them on another pair of frames. So you can mix and match them with different outfits. The Soundcore frames offer five and a half hours of use from a full charge, an hour and a half from a 10 minute charge. They are IPX4 water resistant, which is adequate since they aren't really intended for exercise, I don't think. The glasses cost around $200 and extra frames around $50. Let's hope they have a good warranty for that kind of cash. Now, you may have noticed that unlike some older eyeglass headset designs, these have no earbuds. They look pretty much like glasses. At first glance, you might think bone conduction, but instead, they have these tiny ports in front of and behind the ear to deliver a surround sound effect. Okay, pros, they look good. The styles are fashionable and come in a good range of sizes. They sent me the small size, which is kind of them. 
Unfortunately, I have a giant head and would probably be better off with a medium. That said, they are comfortable and attractive. They don't look like a gadget. The battery, the battery life is respectable. And the frames are easy to swap out. Anchor has a good reputation for mobile electronics. And this is typically well made and engineered. Cons. Oh boy, this could be a semester long lesson in business school. What seems to have happened here is a marketing team decided, hey, let's make a really fashionable pair of headset glasses. And the engineering team said, you got it, and did a great job making exactly what they asked for. And the industrial design team, which I'm assuming was duct taped or chair with more duct tape over their mouth so they couldn't speak, with only one hand free to use the Wacom tablet and able to protest, make it look really, really nice. So what's the problem? Exactly. What is the problem that sound core frames solve? Do you have trouble wearing sunglasses and wireless earbuds at the same time? Because you can buy nice earbuds and glasses in a million styles for much less than this. Not only do the sound core frames not solve any problems, but they also create new ones. Most of us don't wear sunglasses inside when it's overcast or at night. So what do we do for audio when we are not out on a bright sunny day? Bring an extra pair of earbuds to wear when we take our sunglasses off? And remember to charge both the earbuds and the sound core frames? Not great. Okay, but what about people who already need to wear prescription glasses? This would be perfect for them, right? Not so fast. What do you do after five hours when you have to take them off for an hour to fully charge them and can't see anything while you do? Carry a second pair of glasses or just give up on audio for the rest of the day? Because I listen to more than five hours of audio most days. So integrating audio into eyeglasses does not really enable you to carry and charge fewer things and creates all sorts of annoying new hassles and usability problems, which I'm pretty sure their industrial design team would have told them if they have not been mummified in duct tape, or maybe they have to sign a contract that prevents them from saying anything negative about products. I kid, I kid, sorry for the snark. Moral of the story? Never put your marketing team at the top of your product development or chart. Shenzhen is the hardware engineering capital of the world. And I've seen power drunk marketing teams cause more hardware engineering disasters than you can imagine. Final verdict. The sound core frames are really nice looking, well engineered, high quality product that does exactly what they're supposed to, except what they're supposed to do makes no sense. But now me, I hear you cry. They're just cool. Yes, they're cool. And since I got mine for free, I will probably occasionally use them just to show off how cool and cutting edge I am. Look at me, I'm Naomi Wu. I have sound core frames. That means I'm better than you. But the reality is, I'll still carry my earbuds and I hope nobody notices when I have to look lame and swap between the two when it gets stuck out or the battery dies and my cool glasses are no longer cool. If you'd like to be cool in an impractical kind of way like me, I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, that's it for today. Many thanks to Anchor for their kind offer and for giving this to me for free with no expectation of a review. If you'd like to help my channel but cash is tight, please repost my videos on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, or wherever you hang out. It really helps. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it!